Good morning. Are you ready for a simultaneous sip? 10.35. Monday, January the 4th. Okay, let's do this. So I was going to start this week off getting up early. And that would have been a great idea because I stay up too late and I seem to sort of have some nights like that where I can't sleep. So I got up at 1.30 going, well, I'm not asleep yet. I think I'll just sit out in the living room for a few minutes, uh, watch outside my front window. As I'm doing that, I hear my husband get up. Oh, he must be not able to sleep either. The thing is, he gets up and starts the coffee machine on. I get up, I go, what are you doing awake? Uh, this is crazy. It's 1.30 in the morning. He says, it's 1.30? I thought it was 7.30. I thought it was time to get up. Oh, he thought he'd slept a lot and slept in. <laughs> I shouldn't have told him. <laughs> it was very funny. Because, you know, it's dark at that time. His The number one on his phone lo does look like a seven. But honest to God, if you think it's 7.30 and you get up and go, oh, I had a full night's sleep. I, oh, part of me did not want to tell him, but we laughed. Anyways, that was last night. Looking forward to going to bed earlier and earlier and getting a better routine going so I can have coffee sips with you at a normal time in the morning. This is way too late. For you, it's a, probably a mid-morning sip. And uh, my message that I read out of my book was about creating or thinking about miracles that what seems impossible is better to think is possible than to think about uh, the reality. So envisioning, you know, uh, that things are going to be, um, coffee shops are going to be full by July. That's something to, to think about as possible and imagine and be happy about and say, you know, or, you know, I'm going to be on the Ellen show or some kind of thing that you've got to envision the impossibilities and that's much better than than thinking of what's impossible. So it's, this book is always about changing your thinking. Um, it starts at the beginning of the year, starts off saying, you know, that our thoughts about things are not all that important. So uh, they're kind of confusing messages sometimes, but they really are something to think about. Okay, I hope you're enjoying uh, your morning that you're starting your week off right, that you're envisioning what's possible, and that you have uh, some beginnings happening today at the beginning of this week. Okay, have a great day.